So in this video I'm going to be talking about how ABS brake systems work and uh, what their purpose is and what it ultimately helps you do. So the main overall point of it is that it uh, prevents wheel lockup. Uh, if you press on the brake pedal and your wheels are locking up, your vehicle will just start skidding and you have no real control over where you go. If you let go of the brakes, you can have more control because your wheels are now turning, but then you lose your braking power. And uh, it's pretty simple and made up of uh, your, it's in, to, in with your brake system, so you're a picture of all your brakes and their calipers on it. You have your uh, master cylinder up there, so when you press on the brake pedal, your uh, fluid will go out of your master cylinder and will go into your control module or your actuator, and that's where all the magic happens inside of there. Under normal uh, operating conditions, it'll still flow through there and just flow right out into each brake as you control it as a driver. But uh, once you start getting wheel lock up, that's where your uh, control module and your actuator start controlling each system through that. And uh, it's a pretty simple process of how it does it. There's three stages when it's uh, operating. The uh, first stage is the uh, pressure holding stage, and that closes off the brake line that uh, is skidding to prevent any additional pressure. So if you have a four wheel system where each one operates independently, say the uh, right rear is locking up, it'll close off the pressure just to that line and stops you from applying any more brake pressure to it because maybe you're applying too much, it cuts you off and says, hey, stop it. And not by increasing any more, that may simply help prevent it there. But if it does, uh, doesn't and your wheels continue to lock up and continue skidding, you then move on to the next part, which is pressure reduction. And that is, if the wheel lockup continues, pressure is then released until uh, that lockup is eliminated. So it's essentially fighting back against the pressure that you're doing it, but it reroutes it through the actuator up here. And then the next stage is where that pressure then gets increased. And pressure is uh, increased to then reapply the brake pressure. So essentially, I like to kind of describe that stage as essentially you're pressing on the brake pedal because when you're skidding and your foot is on the brake pedal, you're applying pressure. So it's essentially turning everything off for a fraction of a second and reapplying that pressure that you are at the wheel. So basically, as a whole of what this whole thing is doing is at first, when your wheels lock up, it cuts you off, stops any additional pressure from happening, and as you continue to skid, it then fights back against that pressure, and then after that, it then increases the pressure. So basically what's going on this whole system is, it's a simp simply, as I stated here, it mimics the driver pumping the brake pedal. That's why in the old days, before they had ABS systems, they advised you to pump the brakes, and that's essentially what this is doing. It can happen up to 20 times per second. So that's if you imagine somebody pumping the brake pedal uh, 20 times in one second, that's exactly what this is doing. And that causes you to have uh, more control of the system. A lot of professional drivers, they don't have those. They, they actually drive better with them off, even though they can't uh, pump it up to uh, 20 times per second. They know their car, so they know where that level is. They know how much to push on the brakes, or if they push any more, they'll lock up. Or if they uh, release it any more, then they're going to go too far. So even though it can do it multiple times more than a professional driver, a professional driver knows his car and knows how much pressure to apply. And uh, they also use uh, the yaw rate sensor input from the yaw rate sensor. That's essentially used to tell how your car is leaning. It's very important for uh, stability control systems when you're coming over a, a, to a corner. It measures how much vehicle weight is shifted to one side of it so it knows what side to apply the brakes when you're going around a corner. But that can be very useful in the ABS system as well because if one, two, or three of your wheels are locked up and the other one's going fine, you're, then your car knows that it's still going and a few of the wheels are locking up. But let's say all of them lock up. How does your car know if you simply came to a stop or you actually are still going and sliding? It uses that yaw rate sensor to, to know that because if you are essentially skidding, your weight is going to shift forward to the front of your vehicle and your yaw rate sensor will detect that. And tell you to apply all of the systems. And uh, throughout the older days, we had a, first we had a single channel systems where uh, it applied pressure just to the rear brakes, so only the rear would have them. That was in a lot of uh, pickup trucks, especially when you have weight in the back and you're pressed on the brakes. It would only 
apply it to the rear systems and it would based off of a wheel speed sensor that was on your transmission or the differential. And they came out with uh, three channel systems. That's where uh, the front brakes uh, each have a wheel speed sensor independently. And the rear wheels work similar to the single channel system where they base this off the sensor from uh, a wheel speed sensor from the transmission or differential speed sensor. So they don't have their own wheel speed sensor, they have a transmission or dif differential sensor. So the front two would work independently and the rear two would work uh, together. But most cars nowadays have four wheel systems where each wheel works independently. Each wheel will have a wheel speed sensor and when one, two, or whichever ones are locking up, it'll apply this whole process just to that one wheel. And that's pretty much it on how ABS systems work. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.